Alright. <clears throat> Hello. Alright. Um, so this is probably a little unlike my other videos from the standpoint that um I guess it's more personal. Um, I don't know. But I'm reaching out to other people. Um I wanted to get in touch with people who uh, who may or may not be like me or, you know, who have maybe, you know, changed their lifestyle and become more like this. But um, I am uh, technically a virgin waiting for marriage, even though I'm an adult, technically. I say technically because I don't really act like an adult. But, <laughs> and, and, and I'm, and I'm nicely technically, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I don't mean like, oh, I'm, I, I do you know, other things like fellatios and, 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 and or butt sex or something. No, I mean, like, I mean, actually, like, you know, I'm not the perfect virgin, but I'm just saying I'm a virgin. Like, I don't, I haven't done anything, um, like that. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I will never do fellatios because that's just nasty. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, I just was saying my top five reasons for waiting for love and marriage, uh, uh for sex is is um, one romance because I think because I know a lot of people want to know why are you waiting you know they, they don't get it you know and I wasn't even raised this way you know um, you know but I chose to be this way um, romance I just think it's more romantic you know it's you know kind of it's it, it makes it more exclusive and like a special kind of love and that kind of that, that that means something that's kind of like you know it's powerful it's kind of profound you know and I like that and two <clears throat> trust you know it's kind of like you know if you love me enough to wait for me then you must really love me you know <laughs> and I really love you you know so it's kind of like a, a, a trust kind of commitment uh, kind of thing I guess uh, morals uh, spiritually and you know in the Bible and in, in other religious faiths and, and, and spiritual faiths even if you're not religious particularly you know uh, it's it's spiritually healthy uh, and honorable to save your body for um, you know the one that you are going to commit to, to love and spend your life with and raise a family with and all that good stuff. And it's kind of like showing a sacred regard for the temple that God gave you as opposed to just flinging it around to whoever you feel like it. You know, well, you look cute. Let's screw. You know, it's not like that. So, I mean, I know a lot of people do that. I'm not trying to make you feel bad because I know the average person is um, nothing like me. But um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it, it show, you know, you're showing a certain regard and then, you know, you never too, never too far gone to turn back and change it and be born again, re rebirth, renewed and all that good stuff. So, um, we start. Um, and um, so that's kind of like an important thing, the moral, uh, spiritual value of it and honoring God. <clears throat> Also, um, you don't have to worry about babies and STDs. Like, I don't have to worry about, you know, um, bringing any kids into this world before before they should be, you know, without having a solid family unit intact. And, and I don't have to worry about STDs and everything. And also, I didn't write this down, but um, <clears throat> I also um, don't want to be a statistic and don't want my kids in the future to look back on my actions and be inspired to copy the negative ones. So um, it's easier to get kids to do as you say when they can do as you do when you do the right thing earlier on. I know that's tough. That's tough. But, you know, I don't want to screw up the next generation like our generation was screwed up. My generation's so fucked up. Like, I don't know anybody who's not messed up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't want that for my future kids. And, and if, if their generation's messed up, I'm sorry for that, but I'm not gonna mess up my future kids. I'm just saying, like, I want them to see me as a role model. They're already gonna see me and, and my future husband as role models and I want them to look at us as heroes as you know like you know something to live up to not not like something to run away from <laughs> you know like you know my parents made some serious mistakes you know and I don't want to copy their mistakes but I know a lot of people wind up copying the mistakes of their parents most of us do you know and there are some things that I, you know, I, 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 I'm like, oh, my mom is a wonderful woman. She's awesome. So there's like great things that, that I, I love to be like her with, you know, but there's certain things that I like that happen with my parents. I don't want that happening with me in my future or whatever, you know? So, um, you know, that kind of, I, I want to leave a legacy that means something. And I want to help uh, the future generation 
be better than our generation, my generation. So I feel like, uh, you know, being abstinent from from drugs and, and fornication and all that good stuff, to me, that's like, in my own way, that is me helping the future generation in some way, shape, or fashion, because it's going to kind of like the trickle-down theory. It doesn't work with economics, but it can work with morality. <laughs> so, yeah, longevity is the other reason. Uh, statistics have actually proven this. This is not actually even uh, an opinion. This is a fact, uh, statistically, that the overwhelming, the overwhelming majority of couples who wait to have sex until marriage don't divorce, don't cheat on each other, more self-controlled, and they report more sexual satisfaction and have happier, more well-adjusted children compared to only half or so of all married couples who don't, or previously married couples who didn't wait. So, obviously, it's got a lot of good points. That's a lot of good reasons, you know? And um, so, that's why, you know, I'm waiting. And I think there's probably some other reasons that I wrote down a long time ago, but I can't remember. I, I don't remember anything these days. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, you know, those are the reasons why I'm waiting. I know I have friends who are born again. You know, they, they, they fell from grace, but they're back on track, and they're doing the right thing now. And that's, I, that's very admirable, because it's a lot easier to stay away from something you've never had than to uh, say no to something that, you know, to say no to a drug you've already indulged yourself in. That takes a lot more self-control, and so I completely admire that, and that is very honorable and strong and noble and all power to you. So, um, if you are waiting for marriage, whether you are, have always waited for marriage, or whether you, you know, fell from grace, but now you're back on track, let me know. You know, hit me up. You know, give me some, um, feedback here. Give me some, you know, some notes, some, some conversation. If you don't want to dine yourself out and, and let people know what your status is, I know some guys who are like, don't tell anybody I'm a virgin. I'm like, okay, fine. I don't see the big deal. I mean, whatever. It's pretty admirable. But, you know, you know, you, you got to be strong to be an adult virgin, you know? Um, just kid me up. You know, give me a personal message if you don't want to, you know, put yourself on blast. That's fine. You know, I won't tell your secret. I mean, I'm not a best secret keeper, but I'll keep that secret. So, you know. <laughs> Anyway, um, and the music I was listening to is this awesome song called Dum Dum featuring Lecrae by Tadashi. Awesome song. Just awesome. Google it. All right. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>